it's important we showcase everything that's going on in our food service industry. There's a lot of great activity going on and the Chef's Choice Awards is a great way to get people to talk about it and see it and understand it. We've got some people from all across different industries, well, certainly within the industry but different departments. Um, we've had some healthy, lively debate, we've bounced off each other, um, we've had some conflict of opinion on some products. It's been really interesting uh, to have a look at everything that everyone's entered. On the whole, the standards have been fairly good. Um, there have been a couple of ones where we felt not so great, and then there have been a couple that have been really good, so it's, you've got quite a mixed bag. Um, I think the fresh products in particular have been quite interesting. With the industry struggling with recruitment of chefs, a lot of people are now looking at where they can essentially produce or where they can buy in a product. There's a much more of a push towards um, health um, and making sort of really balanced nutritious meals and obviously reduction in sugar and salt. For me, quality and the actual, the, the sauces were very good today, but maybe you know, the quality of the meat that's going into there, for me, needs to probably come more to the forefront. We're gonna see uh, more sous vide um, come into to, to the area, especially for, for um, products that are made um, and supplied in. Customers are seeing a lot more um, innovation through some wonderful media activity, um, you know, TV chefs, uh, celebrity chefs, uh, lots of innovation on the high street, so the customers are kind of asking for that. We just want to wish everybody the best of luck on the night and thank everybody for participating in the awards.